New tonight, the search for a driver who hit and killed a 19 year old and then just drove off. Troopers are now releasing new surveillance video and the man's family is remembering him tonight. News 6's Treasure Roberts is live at a vigil for that man in Orange County. Treasure. Yeah, Eric, we've seen lots of hugs and tears this evening. We've even heard prayers. You can see behind me families and family and friends are honoring the life of 19 year old Anthony McKeos after he was hit and killed by a car in this area. Now this happened just before 2:30 in the morning on April 2nd in Orlando. State troopers say a man was walking on Orange Avenue when the suspect vehicle hit him and kept going. This new video just released today shows a semi truck passing the vehicle. Troopers say sped off after striking the victim. Now, Mejias was rushed to Orlando Health where he did die the next day. His mother, Vivian Blanco, says she reported him missing earlier that week but didn't ID him until April 7. We're all feeling a tremendous loss. Um, my son was a shiny, beautiful star. This is a mom that wants to know what happened to her son. Uh, any mother out there can relate to this woman frantically searching for her son and then coming to find out that he had been killed in a fatal crash. FHP says this makes the eighth deadly hit and run crash in Orange County this year compared to last year. And at this point, they have not identified a suspect in this case. But what troopers are asking is that if you have any information about the crash or the vehicle that hit Mejias, please contact FHP or the Florida Crime Line immediately. Live in Orlando, Treasure Roberts getting results, News 6.